Democrats in both the House and Senate have objected to removing the statute of limitations. I'm not necessarily the loudest person in the room. That's un-American. I'm sorry. Looks like Bambi bites like Jaws. <laughs> and we're not powerless. When I was first a lobbyist for the ACLU, one of the issues my boss gave me was the Voting Rights Act extension. And one of the things I realized is that not enough people were talking to the Republicans. And so I made it a point to reach out to Henry Hyde, Jim Sensenbrenner, who were on the key subcommittee. I felt it was my obligation to get as many votes for this legislation as possible. President Reagan signed the bill extending the Voting Rights Act of 1965 for another 25 years. And what I've found working across party lines is that people are people. And in that space of humanness, in that connection, miraculous things can happen. The crack powder cocaine sentencing disparity. The Fair Sentencing Act was 17 years in the making. No one has been able to justify the disparity in the racial composition of those people who were prosecuted. A broad coalition of organizations kept pushing this issue because it epitomized the worst aspect of the war on drugs. We were able to make the case, working very closely with the leadership conference, incarceration nation, that this was not serving justice. We dug down deep. It was really wonderful to cut through the partisanship and to get that bill to the president's desk. My parents created the environment for not just me, but my siblings to express themselves. Those parents were hell on wheels, I'm telling you. I remember in junior high school, I didn't want to say the Pledge of Allegiance. This isn't one nation. This was the height of the civil rights movement. And the vice principal called my mother and said, well, you know, I was going to suspend her, but she's taking a principal point of view on this issue. And so when I met with success there, I started being a student activist in high school, and we worked on my father's campaign in 1970 for a judgeship, and we just kept on going.